Is it the same with nutrition? Yeah, yeah. I think it. I mean, I don't. I, I'm probably not a good one to ask because I haven't been on other teams, so I don't really know what other teams do. But my general feeling is on that side with how we do nutrition and our chefs, and we've got an app called Food Coach, which is gives us all all of what we need to have on a, on a day to day basis. I think, yeah, by the sounds of things, I'd say we almost do it the best out of any team in the peloton. Mm. Because that comes, am I right in saying the app comes from the supermarket? Yep, yep. So the supermarket helped develop it. Which is Jumbo, the sponsor. which is Jumbo. Um, So yeah, they helped develop it. And then now it's just like, yeah. So for example, on a training camp, we can go and look in the morning and it will tell us what we're having for breakfast. And then we click on it and it tells us how many how many grams of each thing that we need for breakfast. So if we're having rice porridge in the morning, it'll tell you how many grams and we have our scales set up there. And then, um, yeah, weigh out all our food so we're um, getting enough in, obviously, for racing. Uh, And then after a stage, as soon as we finish, they get all our data from our our garments and then um, recalculate whether we need more or less food at night. Mm. And then... um, yeah, it's just done done really well. And I think that reflects, you know, when you're doing things that good, of course, riders are going to recover better and that sort of thing. And I think that translates to, you know, the performances the team's been having. Yeah. That must be nice. Like, so oh, you yeah. rock up, you, you finish the stage, you rock up the next, to the next, or that evening and for the next stage and they tell you how much you need to eat. Yeah, yeah. You don't have to think about anything. So it's not like rocking up to a buffet and be like, oh, I'll have a couple scoops of rice. It's literally go up, put your plate on the scale and just weigh out what what's in there. I mean, of course, if you're hungry and you want to take more, they're like, yeah, take a bit yeah. extra. But you sort of know, like, that's what I need. That's what's going to fuel me. So uh, yeah. it's like, it's just easy. You don't have to think about it anymore. I, I don't know what your experience was like, but I always struggled with that. It was like... Here's a buffet. Here's this massive stage I'm doing. Another massive stage tomorrow. I don't know how much I need to eat. And then you just end up eating shit tons of food. Yeah. And now you're like, oh, maybe I ate too much. I yep. don't know. And you even hear it as well with uh, like seasoned pros who are like, oh, I put on weight through a grand tour. And you think like, oh, you know, I can see how it's easy to do because some days, you know, it can be a 200K stage, but still... You know, if there's two guys up the road and we cruise along at 150 watts, you probably don't actually, you know, really, I mean, other than being on the bike for a long time, you're probably not burning as much as you think. So yeah. if you uh, adopt the attitude, oh, I'm racing and I need a smash in food or I'm not going to perform or, yeah. So I think it just, yeah, and that's the, a big thing. The consequences of not eating enough are oh, so huge, big. Like, huge, like it's yeah. catastrophic if you don't eat enough. Yeah. Yeah, I mean that's yeah that's that's massive. Uh, I mean you can ruin your whole race if you if you underfuel, which so is probably more dangerous, and that's probably why yeah. people put weight on. Yeah, because they're like, oh, if I underfuel, I'm going to go flat in the stage, and I'm going to go terrible. Whereas, yeah, when you eat a lot, you obviously feel in your legs. You got heaps of energy, that sort of thing. So, yeah, you feel better, but you, maybe that's <laughs> maybe it's not as good. You come out of the tour and you're like, oh, I put on two kilos. And that, that was my thought, that was that was kind of the thought process. It was always like, well, I'm just going to eat that bit more because if you don't, yeah, it's all over. Whereas yeah. if, <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, that's cool having that, that variable uh, just yeah. dialed. Yeah, it's so good. It just, uh, yeah, I think there's no rider on the team that I don't think just really enjoys it. And the best thing as well is it's like, it's not like we're rocking up and they're like, oh, you need this amount of rice and then a little piece of protein or something. They're actually making like really nice meals and it's just... Yeah, you're not eating cardboard. Yeah, it's not not boring to eat. So it's uh, really nice food and then taking away the stress of really like thinking what you need. It must be a nutritionist dream come true. Oh yeah, for sure. Like, yeah. I mean, we've got one guy that we... I work with quite a lot in the team and um, he's sort of the head guy who oversees everything and then we've got what we call our food coach chefs who are, they also have like the back end of the program and all that. So they do all the recalculating. And then for him, it's more like, you know, th- those real fine details of um, 
of performance sort of thing. So, yeah, I mean, when you got heaps of people working on it, it's it's pretty incredible, really. Yeah, because that was always the challenge. You'd have like this nutritional advice, which is great. Yeah. But actually measuring it yeah. was so hard. Yeah, yeah. 